Welcome to Electro Online. Besides the two special cases, which we have right up here, there are three general for, or major forms, I should say, of the linear equation. We have the slope intercept form. By now, we're familiar with that if you watch the previous videos in this playlist. Then we also have the general form and we have the point slope form. Now, the slope intercept is straightforward. All you need to know is the slope of the equation plug it in for m, and the place where it crosses the y-axis, the y-intercept, plays out for b, and we have the equation. The general form, well, we have a general form for every sort of equation in algebra, and this is written in the form of ax plus by equals c. Now, out of this, we can come out with the y-intercept and the x-intercept simply by setting y equal to 0, that is where we are on the x-axis, we have x equals c divided by a. And if we set x equal to 0, that's where we cross the y-axis, we have y equals c over b. So the y-intercept and the x-intercept can be found by setting x, alternately x and y equal to 0. But what about the point-slope form? Well, if we start with the formula or the equation of the slope, where m is the difference between the y values of two points divided by the x values of two points, and then we let one of the two points, for example, let the point x2, y2 become just a general point xy. So notice when it's written like this, we have very specific value for x and y, a particular point on the plane, or in this case on the line. But if we want to make that a general point, we just simply call it x and y, and we plug that back into the to the equation right here. So now we have m is equal to, instead of y2, we simply write y minus x, um, not x, but y1. Let's try it again. So y minus y1 divided by, instead of x2, we write x, so we have x minus x1. And then we cross multiply. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply x minus x1 times m, so this becomes m times x minus x1 is equal to y minus y1. And then when we reverse the order, we get y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And so this equation in this form is what we call the point-slope form. And why do we call it the point-slope form? Well, when we have an equation in this form, all we need is the slope and one point on the line to come up with an equation in this form. In actuality, it is nice to have that, but this really takes care of every possible combination we can come up with. As we saw in previous examples, we always are able to get y equals mx plus b by finding the slope and the y-intercept. We don't really need this form. However, it is in your algebra book, and your teacher will probably want you to know this form as well. And so there it is. That's what it looks like. Now we have the three forms of the equation of a line. And we're going to learn how to we then convert from one form to another and how to actually utilize that form. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to use those.